Hello, hi everyone. Good evening, and have a cool evening. Welcome back to my video. I think today again the weather has changed its mood, and it's coming back to the cool. And the thought of the day today is that which I had not it. That is the only way to make sure that your work is done is to do it by yourself. I repeat once again, the only way to make sure that your work is done is that do it yourself. It means in our day-to-day -day life you have noticed that in our day-to-day -day life you have generally faced that you have generally give your targets or give your works to the persons whom you believe or persons whom you think that he can he or she can make your work done but sometimes you notice that when you given your works to do for the other persons for you when you give your works to complete it by the other one suppose that you had have an up any project or you have any assignment from the college or your schools then what you have done you always trying to put your works to another hand it means some suppose that in your college you get an assignment and you what do you do you put you give your assignment to your friends to write it down until the last date but when you uh, that day is being nearest to you then you go and meet your friend then you get that your assignment had not completed this is the situations where you feel that the work which you had decided to complete and you had make path or make, make believe to and to give the target to other one but that work had not done at a time the best way to complete that task is that try to do that task by yourself it means the only way to believe that or the only way to make sure that your work is done right it try to do, do it by yourself so in this video we are going to learn some summary yeah, i think you learned that uh, in the last video where i had uh, discussed about some social media facts and the social media facts which i had read from there which i had tell you told you that there i used to read a book that is the gor gopal das book inner styles your mind this book Gorgopalas, and where i had read some chapters and that chapters which i had read about some social media facts which i had told you that how the social media terms or how the social use of social media had really harmful our for our self or for our health also it means how the social media use of how too much of social media how it affect our health or how it affect our daily life or personal life so there which i had also i had also suggest you to be about the blue tick of the whatsapp which is play a very huge role and which sometimes it play a very giving your pressure to your minds for the replying to someone for their text or for the messages but in this video there i am going to make the summary of the this chapter because in this chapter i had read there are lots of a topic and i think for discussing the whole topics it make the video so long and instead of that i think here is a given chapter summary for the whole topics which i had read in this chapter uh, this chapter name is the dealing with the fear of missing out that is fomo fear of missing out fear of missing out that means sometimes we have everything but you are feeling something that you are really lose someone or lose some things in that case that is the FOMO is that in full form is a fear of missing out in this chapter we had read that how social media we are actually connect with each other but i think when you feel deeply that you feel that you are not at connects with each other so in this video i'm going to tell you the summary of this whole the chapter which i had read in the 10 or 20 pages so i'm going to tell you about the summary and the first top summary of this is that in this world everything is like a coin in this world everything is like a coin there are always two sides in a coin you know like there is a coin there is a two sides on his head and tail as like the in our life there is a like a our life is like a coin there are always a two sides things that seem good always have a downside and things that seem bad always have a an upside it means in our day-to-day -day life 
you all most of time you have noticed that when you feel that this is really so amazing it's really a very good for us and good for me but that time that has turned in the wrong way direction but sometimes when we are in the very difficult situations or in a very downside when the all the hope has been finished that time that is turned into the upside it means that to turn into the that side where you had got the success or whatever you need to that so always on the this summary we we had read and i had read in this summary that it teaches us that we need to be keep path or keep believe on yourself whatever you are doing it if you have given your 100% best you are giving your 200% best whatever the things if you are doing in the right way in the right direction no matter what happen no matter what the situation is no matter how the situation is going on it always being a with you because sometimes the things which you are doing it's looking like that is going in the right direction but you know looking like that it's going in upside but it's going on that down side or sometimes which you feel that it's a bad always have an upside and the second thing is that if the focus is on what you do not have it takes away value from the what do you have it means if you are still focusing on that things which you do not have it means if you have if you are focusing about that i have not that kind of a bungalow i have not that kind of a building i have not that kind of a too much of a money i have not that kind of a clothes and you are forgetting about that the clothes you wear the things you have the room where you live then the whatever the things you have are still having that you are going to be lost it means always try to focus on the things which you have not on that which you do not have i know focusing on that to be getting it being easily to get it but try to be at least give a gratitude or give a thankful for that which you have a still now instead of that which you have do not have a still and the uh, third is that the mindset is the key to crafting a joy the opposite of that is comparison the comparison which is the thief of the joy the mindset is the key to crafting a joy and the opposite of that comparison which is the thief of a joy it means sometimes in our sarma ji ka beta in our society are saying that he has done a 90% he has done 99% you have done a 80% you are done only a 20% why how you had not get that percentage which had he had given he, his son had got it the comparison always make it to the down side it is always make you in the like a you have some money just stolen your happiness from your family if you are keeping your mindset in the right way and the right direction it will really gives the joyness to your life and uh, in our modern society this missing syndrome is leading to a mental health calamity as we have constant access as in constant access to compare our life with those of others day by day we are comparing our life that he is that he is that he is that she is that you are not that why if you guys are been comparing like that in the, this chapter we have learned this you are never being going to be a happy in your life try to be happy at least what you have try to be to your son to your friends to your classmates right in which whatever field they are in now whether he is in a super position or whether in a down position accept it where, wherever they are the key thing to note is that if your habit to check our social media feed is no longer rewarding then it is a harmful habit that may damaging our health it means the key thing is that to not if our habit to check our social media feeds is no longer rewarding then it is harmful habit that may be a damaging our health social media terms is that some we are feeling that whenever you put the video in the youtube or whenever you put you the insta facebook whatever you have put the can any content any photos even you again and again check how many people had seen how many views and gone there how many have comment on there how many have like your photos like your pics the this habits making you harmful day by day when because sometimes you are not uploading at anything and you are 
what you are it means your habits of checking then it's being uh, gone and sometimes uh, you will also notice that there in our whatsapp generally most of one there are day by day daily uploaded up status in their whatsapp which shows that they had got really a it means that they had really being a what you can say right and for it that was they are really being a addictive to put that your status and see who had seen your status and who has not this whole thing being to be get up make a lots of harms for your health as well so keep away from these old things and use everything in a limit way and keep the points and make it use in your life and make you happy for joyfully and be a credit gratitude keep your gratitude towards your life whatever you have don't regret of the things which you have lost and the only way to make sure that you have done your work is to do it yourself so thank you bye bye take care meet you again